how tough it's been personally to go through some of that, but also how tough it's been personally over the course of the last couple of years to, you know, have had a lot of, you know, the, the, the banter around town and the banter among supporters of the program be about stuff that's happening to you personally or happening or that, that you've done personally or what have you? I think it's a good question. I think it is, it is extremely difficult. I think there were times I tried to talk myself into that it would be okay and, and I can handle it. You know, you always try to, you try to act tough uh, a lot. And, and when the people that, it's not the people that know you that you worried about. I think the people that I know in, in town, and there are a lot of relationships over eight years, have been very supportive. I think it's the people that don't know you that it's kind of quick, and understandably so. It, they're, you know, quick to either judge or look at you with a different, a different eye, and that's tough. Once again, it comes back to you want to be liked, you want to be thought of in high regard, and it all snowballs once you start doing bad. It all seems to, you know, really, uh, just really grow when, when you're not doing well as a program. And, um, but it has been difficult. It, it has been difficult. I've got a daughter that lives in Texas now. Uh, we're doing our best to, to raise a daughter, you know, on long distance, and that's not easy. But, uh, you know, doing the best with what we can. And there have been people that have been very supportive. And, and obviously that's, uh, that means a lot, and that kind of helps you get through it. I, I wonder how much of uh, restoring an image, so to speak, of yourself is, is there to the idea of winning fans back, of, of trying to, you know, I guess, raise the overall support for the program. I think that's important. And, and if if I'm an athletic director, and you know, that's obviously something that you have to be concerned with. That's where the professionalism has to be there. You know, I understand where we're at. I also understand how to get us out of this. And, and Ross being confident that I'm the person to lead the charge is, you know, it means a lot. So we're going to try to take advantage of the opportunity to <coughs> keep the support of the people that we have, to regain support of people that might have lost, lost some over the last year or two. And I know the product on the floor is going to be a whole lot more fun to, to watch and relate with because I do know the character of the guys returning and the guys coming in. So. That's where there's a confidence level. Ross, you talked about speaking with a lot of people over this process. Uh, Rick Barnes mentioned Sergio Carouche, uh, Dennis Belt, and some others. Can you share something maybe that, that was said, a particular sentiment, or the thing you were told that really maybe impressed upon you about him, Coach Phil? <clears throat> the thing that they all said is Ken knows how to coach and he knows basketball. And the thing that Rick Barnes and Dennis Felton said when they had him on their staff, he was the first one in the gym, the last one to leave. If a player had a problem, they went to Ken McDonald. If they wanted to work on their game, they went to Ken McDonald. Those were very telling to me that Ken has the ability. He has the ability to coach at a high level, and we've gone, gone through some bumps in the road, and now we need to get back on track. And it's all about work. It's all about attitude moving forward. So those are the positive things, and then the players, Orlando could not say enough great things about uh, Coach McDonald that, that year that he was uh, on this team with this staff and just raved about him. You know, Stefan, the same way. Uh, Sergio, you know, these guys are like dad, like Sergio's dad. And so that was, that was important. Anyone else? Uh, all right, thank you all very much.